In Dwarf Fortress, there are a lot of benefits to beekeeping, as you can produce the products beeswax, which can be used for crafts, honey, which can be used in meals, and finally, mead, which can be brewed from honey. Mead is very beneficial for dwarves, as variety in diet makes them very happy. Now, it's kind of a complex process to make all of these things. There are two prerequisites in order to make honey in Dwarf Fortress. The first is that there must be bees on your map somewhere. You can't make honey if you don't have any bees. Bees can often be found in warm or temperate climates in Dwarf Fortress. Though I have had some bees in colder areas as well, you'll probably not get any bees in deserts or complete tundra, so just be aware of this. The second prerequisite is the necessity for power. The only way you can get honey is to press the honeycombs with the screw press. The screw press does need power in order to function. I'll be showing you how to get everything hooked up with a little wind power today, so just know that there are other methods of obtaining power, just we're going to be using wind power. Once you've secured these two things, you can be sure that you can make some honey. Let's get started with the tutorial. So I've started a new world and a new fortress. I'm going to get the fortress up and running a little bit, and then I'll show you how to start the beekeeping industry. So now that I've got the fortress up and running a little bit here, I'm going to go ahead and start a new work order. And the work order is going to be for 50 rock hives here. Uh, you can definitely make them out of wood if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and make them out of rock because I do have a natural inclination to use rock for all of my non-bed furniture. So the next thing I'm going to need in this playthrough is I'm going to need some mechanisms. So I will obviously need to create a mechanics workshop, and then I'm going to go ahead and set up a work order for some rock mechanisms to be made. The next step is to go ahead and build a bee house. So a beehive must be above ground for bees to be able to generate honey. Uh, but I want to keep it contained kind of in a safe location because I'm a bit overprotective of my dwarves. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is dig a tunnel through here, place a door on it so that it creates a second entrance, and then I'm going to have my dwarves build an outside construction, and I'm going to seal it up completely and entirely, and it will only be accessible through the fortress, but at the same time, it is considered by the game to be outside, so the bees will still generate honey. So I'm going to go ahead and construct this entire building, and I will be back. Now that the bee house is completely constructed, I'm going to go ahead and place some of my rock beehives that I made earlier. Now that we have our hives placed, it's time to go ahead and build the screw pump. This will allow us to obtain the honey from the honeycombs. So, first things first here, we're going to dig down two layers. Now, I'm going to dig a tunnel out a ways. Now, at the bottom here, I'm going to go ahead and build a work zone for our dwarves. Now, I'm going to go to the top layer just above my work zone. I'm going to build a windmill. Now, I need to make a stairway up to the layer right below the windmill. In this layer here, I'm going to make a little room with a hole in the middle of it. This will allow the axle to go through it. Now, our windmill has been built, and we have a clear work area for our dwarves right below it. Now, all we have to do is install the mechanisms. Firstly, on the square right below the center square to the windmill, we're going to build a vertical axle. Scroll down a layer, and on the square below the vertical axle, go ahead and build a gear assembly. A screw pump only takes power from the side. Therefore, we need a horizontal axle leading to it. Now, we can go ahead and place our screw pump at the end of the horizontal axle. Once the dwarves finish constructing all of this, then we'll be able to press some honey. Just a side note here, it looks like one of our dwarves has gone ahead and filled one of our hives with bees. What will happen from here is dwarves will begin to split hives and it will technically reproduce and all of the hives will eventually be filled with bees. Now that everything's been constructed, I just need to set up three work orders. The first work order is press honey from honeycomb. This one will need to be a perpetual work order. The second work order is for 50 rock jugs. The dwarves will need rock jugs to contain the honey once they've pressed it from the honeycomb. The third work order is make mead. This will allow the dwarves to make mead, and I'm going to set this one to a perpetual work order so that they do it forever. It might take a little bit for your hives to begin producing honey. In my experience, it generally takes one or two seasons. Then you should start seeing some mead. After a year, you should receive plentiful amounts of mead. And there you have it. That's how you build a beekeeping industry in Dwarf Fortress. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Have a good day.